Our Providence contact has shared the identity of the Shadow Client, a former mercenary and bodyguard by the name of Lucas Gray. His past is a black void, but our analysts are digging deep. Meanwhile, we've had a breakthrough of our own. Comparing the malicious attack patterns with global shipping and transportation routes, we've figured out how Mr. Gray and his paramilitaries move around the world undetected. They're using the distribution network of the Delgado Cartel, Colombia's biggest drug manufacturer. Clearly, Gray must have struck a deal with the Delgados. Consequently, if we can cripple the cartel, we can severely limit the malicious strike range. But to do so, we need to slay a three-headed serpent. Sociopathic cartel head Rico Delgado and his two closest lieutenants, PR guru Andrea Martinez and savant chemist Jorge Franco. With equal parts guts and guile, Rico Delgado runs a thriving billion-dollar criminal empire. The word is, the brutal and volatile cartel head is hell-bent on becoming the number one drug lord in the world. To achieve this, Martinez, a childhood friend of Delgado's, has been buttering up state leaders and decision-makers, paving the way for an expansion of the Delgado logistics network, while the brilliant but aloof and antisocial Franco has been hard at work developing a new type of super cocaine. So, three of Colombia's most infamous crime lords inhabiting a decidedly hostile environment. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colombia, 47. The remote village of Santa Fortuna awaits you deep inside the Colombian rainforest. An iron-fisted Delgado cartel rules over the village and its surroundings. Security around Santa Fortuna and the closed-off cartel compound is extremely tight. Armed sicarios patrol the streets of the village, ready to enforce harsh punishments to those who do not comply. Rumors persist of hidden transportation cave systems connecting the village, the cartel compound, and the hidden coca fields beyond. It is a rare occurrence to have all three cartel leaders present in the village at the same time. Expect that all targets are protected by scrupulous killers armed with automatic weapons. Rico Delgado inhabits his fortified mansion on the outskirts of the village, while Andrea Martinez can be found in her village office, or around Santa Fortuna itself. And Jorge Franco is engaged in development of a new drug in his field laboratory. Happy hunting, 47. Looking good, man. Looking good. Yeah, but okay, you know, so you just want to do more, more, no, no, no. No. Hey, lady, I'm trying to make a phone call here. Buzz off, will ya? Facilito.
Ya, pero es que yo no estoy disponible para que hagamos esto. Hagamos... You have to get the hell out here. I'm stuck in some tequila bar in the middle of nowhere. I can't get out. Dexy, send help. That is P Power. Real name, Paul Powers. Celebrity tattoo artist and reality Mate, I'm TV telling you, star. This is the worst day of my life. Absolutely the worst. Is that so? Well, it's this Rico Delgado character, isn't it? I'm supposed to be on my way to do some sort of tattoo cover up work on him. Could be worse. You could be lying dead in a ditch somewhere. Shit, sure, that's the problem, isn't it? Did you know he runs the biggest drug cartel in Colombia? I've had experience with the Delgado family in the past, yes. He's one of the most dangerous men in the country. One false move, and I'm dead. I think you're right about that, sir. Power guy? Hang on, man. I hope you don't mind, but we need to frisk you. Ah, senor, you're probably used to this. Just a simple bad man, huh? Okay, All right, go, let's go, parcero. Oh, me too. This is the guy I wanted to meet you. He's a big fan. I'll take you to Rico. Uh, the so famous tattoo artist, huh? I put some ink on skin as well in my time. Of course, most of that was in prison, and not always on people who appreciated the work. You know how hard it is to tattoo traitor on a guy's forehead while he's squirming around on the ground like a worm? Not easy, let me tell you. That's quite a story. You bet. That is Catalina oh Delgado, God, wife to Rico Delgado for the past 11 years. I would like it to be done by a handsome professional it's like that It's such an honor to meet you. I just love your show. Bien. That episode Go on where in. you tattooed no, the just standing of around here, eh? that time policeman while they're administrating CPR. <laughs> it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. A great moment. 
I cherish the memory to this day. Ah, oh, see. So, Rico has this tattoo on his neck and he insists it's supposed to be based on a photo of me. I'm not a fool, Mr. Powers. My nose never looked like that, not even before the operation. And sure, I've had a few ticks done here and there, but nothing as drastic as that. I want you to make it look like me, not some young skank. I'll do my very best, Mrs. Togo. Ah, oh, Chico. Let me just grab a quick selfie with you, all right? Sure, why not? Yay! Just look this way. Oh, can see. Wow, we look so good together. This is great. Hey, babe. Hey, baby. So, this is the famous P. Power, tattoo artist to the stars. You don't exactly look like you do on TV, do you? There's something different about you. Cariño, don't insult our guest. He's obviously not been sitting in a stylist chair for days, but this is P. Power. Who else would it be? Well, what about those cheekbones? The guy on TV didn't have cheekbones like that. Hey, Rico, enough. You know they fix all that in post-production. Just let the man work. Okay, fine. Whatever you say. Okay, I'm ready. Let's get this thing fixed. Oh, stop doing that! Oh, stop being so grumpy, Rico. Can't you just go do that somewhere else? I really can't see what the problem is. Whoa, hey, Rico, don't worry. I've got this under control. Hey, the do guy. I'm watching. You need to keep still, Mr. Delgado. I wouldn't want to stab you by accident. Hear me? You heard the man, Catalina. Leave us now. Fine. I did your way. But that tattoo better look exactly like me when you're done with your new BFF, Rico. Hey, listen, you're taking this new bodyguard job a little too seriously, Jose. Better safe than sorry, boss. Hey, I need you to stand down. Stop waving that thing around. No, 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 no. I'm not willing to take any risks here, Jefe. Hey, Jose, I need you to leave us alone now. You're too wound up right now. You understand? All right, boss, all right. But I'll be back in a little while if I don't hear from you, Guayuan. Oh, finally. So peace and quiet. Can I finish my work now? <laughs> do what you do best, man. You got it. Rico Delgado has been eliminated. Nicely done. Did you hear Javier stole the love letter Hector Delgado wrote for Martinez? 
have to jump out of a window before the heck. We're in the middle of something. Just go away, alright? Banco is something of a daredevil.
Huh? Okay. Something strange is happening. I'll take it out. nombre de Cristo. smoothly it's running. This will change everything. Everything. We are suddenly overcome with joy. See? 
This is what happens when focus is applied alongside proper work ethics. This is the future, people. Well, why are they still standing here? Surely they can see the machine is working perfectly now. We have no need for them anymore. They are excused to go back home to their sad little lives in the village. That is all, guard. Please escort these people from the room. We want to be alone in here. All right, everyone. Follow me. Everything, we're clear. Dios mío. It's... It's... Did you see the poster? Rico Delgado coming down to us. not to let anything from Hector through. But what did I just find? A letter. Were my instructions not clear? Yes, Mr. Martini. Very clear. I don't know how that happened. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Burn everything that even remotely smells like that idiot. Got it? Yes, Mrs. Martini. Ah, to hell with it. Let's see what that fool has to tell me.
targets neutralized. This should paralyze the cartel. Excellent work, Fortison. Now head for an exit. Assignment successful. Tactical targets neutralized. Militia transport network disabled. Location of primary target unknown. Team chasing several leads. End message encrypt and send. source checks out. We can prove the board knew about the chemical leaks. We'll have grounds for a retrial. It won't make a difference. They're too powerful. They're not the devil, Nancy. Just a company. They're not above the law, don't you see? This is bigger than James. Those bastards killed 80 people. And they got away with it. Think about what that means. No one's untouchable. No one's untouchable. Diana! Coming! We got what we came for. Move out. 